Hello my friends, this is Joanna. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Today's project is so simple. It's one of those super, super simple projects that has this amazing outcome. And I love them because you can knock them out in no time if you need a gift for someone or if you want to make something for yourself. And this pendant I think would look absolutely beautiful with a white summer outfit. With that being said, grab a cup of coffee, relax, and let's get started. And I'm starting with Peacock Pearl, which you know it's probably one of my very favorite colors. I absolutely love it. I also have a little bit of pearl. Um, and translucent so the pearl is on the left and then you have the translucent on top and i'm chopping all of these into tiny little pieces and again the size of your pieces will determine how your pendant looks i decided to go for small although you can see that they are clumping up because it is warm outside oh i can't stand it so now the silver leaf is going in and you're just gonna try to integrate it into those little tiny pieces and do your best and I'm chopping more because again they are sticking together because it is so darn warm so now finally I'm happy with the size of my little pieces and we're going to turn them into one big piece and we are going to slice them now here you have the slices now just pay attention that some of those that are looking like white they actually are going to change into translucent when you bake it so the pendant will transform into a different pendant during baking process I grabbed some scraps and I'm just placing all those pieces onto my scraps. This technique will probably remind you of the technique I used just the other week, but I just feel it. I just feel this, this, this technique and those pendants are speaking to me right now. So I'm just going with it. I'm just having a blast. So after you put all the pieces on, grab a piece of paper and just run through it. It always, it feels really good to get a nice smooth surface. And then you can just run it through the pasta machine if you want, or maybe you don't want to. I did, but you may want to just leave it as is and you have a completely different look than you would have after the pasta machine and there you have the pasta machine run you can see that it looks a little bit different than what i had in front of you just a few seconds ago so as you can see i was already cutting out some different shapes but this is the shape for my pendant so i'm just going to concentrate on this one and the other shapes are going to come into play in a different video so um these shapes you can get them from michael's they are super awesome i'm getting one big one and I'm going to do two small ones. Now, after cutting the first small one, I'm flipping that small cutter upside down so that I will get another piece that will kind of face my big piece. And you will see what I'm talking about in just one second. So there you have it. All my pieces are cut out and let me see if I can show you guys what I meant by two pieces facing together. And there you have it. You see how the two small pieces are kind of opposing. So now, now my pendant is already baked. I already baked it. I also added resin to it. So you can see that the pendant doesn't look exactly the way it did just a minute ago. And guess what? I learned from my mistake and I am actually drilling the holes on my surface, on the hard surface. But unfortunately you cannot see me do that here, but that's what I'm doing. Now, now these pendants are ready for the next step and that is going to be uh, putting jump ring jump rings on and I did put the jump rings already and now I am going to use the connector bales see them you can actually and regular bales so the connector bales are going to go on all my three pieces so the big one is going to go in the middle piece and the two small ones on the side now this pendant is just so darn easy to put together it really is and those connector bales just make it so fancy and it's just such an easy thing so just slide the connector bales on the jump hook and close it and do it for all three pieces 
Now, after you're done with the connector bales, you are going to be ready to start putting actually the whole necklace together. And it is such an easy process. It's ridiculous. I'm going to put the connect to connector bales in between the big piece and the smaller pieces. And all I'm doing is I'm just grabbing some chain and I'm going to put the chain through all my pieces and that my friends I know believe it or not that is going to be it now I am not, now that I'm looking at it I think that if this is not a good uh, choice for chain I think that a thicker chain would would look nicer with that pendant but that's what we have right here in the video and that's where we're going and with right now I might change it actually in the future where I'm gonna get it get ready to use it and look at that isn't that just so darn pretty and it was so quick you can knock out so many of them at the same time those connector bales and uh, the regular bales are just so so awesome they add uh, such a nice touch to this pendant I told you guys that this was going to be such a quick project and if you make a bigger batch of the clay you I mean you can knock out so many of these in no time what a perfect perfect gift and you know I made it use it using peacock pearl but there are so many different colors that you can create these with but the mica is definitely a shining through this resin the silver leaf as well I think it just looks so so beautiful I'm just very very happy with this piece and I will absolutely positively wear it this summer well my friends if you enjoyed the video make sure that you subscribe give me a big thumbs up and until next time my friends Ta-ta!